Um, I was just thinking about something and how how it actually seems ridiculous, right? And it seems ridiculous because it is, and how, right? Um, I don't know. I'm not trying to say anything by this, but uh, Ethiopia is not occupied land. I mean, it's obvious that the land has occupants, right? Uh, it's occupied by Ethiopians. So therefore, like, Ethiopia is occupied, but the land has never been occupied, right? That's interesting, bro. How is the land, how is the land of Ethiopia never been occupied when it's so obvious there's all the occupants, you know what I mean? And the thing about, right, <clears throat> uh, you can't say that about anywhere else. Any, all other land has been occupied. All other land. Like, there's no, like, okay. All occupants of any land doesn't necessarily mean that they live on an occupied land? That's weird. I mean, the, the Native Americans occupied the land that is the United States from other Native Americans. <clears throat> there's people, there's Native Americans that DNA gets traced back to uh, ancient Greece. Right? Um, like, I might say that before the Bering Straits, before the, the, the land bridge, uh, uh, cr cr uh, uh, what's it called? It eroded? Because there used to be. Uh, that um, only that's when seafaring people started to come. But seafaring people were coming. They just didn't need a land bridge, right? So some people needed a land bridge and some didn't. But the actual land bridge itself is not the only way that people got over here before the land bridge became not a land bridge. Just because a land bridge decided to erode doesn't mean that all the occupants got here from the land bridge. That is absurd to just take that right to just to say suggest that you know but um like okay people are not absurd if they say that it's just that uh they're not like they're not thinking on anything right then you know and some point in time like they will think on something when it's time for them to do that so when they're saying that they're not, I'm not saying that they're trying to mislead you. It's just that, uh, like, you, you have to know the difference between somebody who is thinking on something and someone who's not thinking on someone, because you don't have to be. And, and and it's not on me to like. What if I you think? What if I think that it's my responsibility to give people something to think on, like a problem to solve, right? That's insane. That's insane. There's another one. Um, there's a couple of things that people say that's insane, but they're not actually insane when they're saying it. Right? It's uh, it's because uh, what, like what is thinking actually thinking, or is thinking not thinking? Because sometimes thinking is uh is the problem right because it can manifest into something that can be uh, se seen with the eyes even though I can't read your mind um, okay so um, it gets contributed a more physical uh, uh, manifestation right um, where it's it's not even a little bit physical it's completely physical but the physicality is not in matter it's in uh, it's in um, the manifestation basically 
because it required is uh, um, somebody to carry, like uh, to to take up the um, the banner or whatever to make it their issue, to make it their thing.